Hey y'all, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. We're going to do a little pumpkin tutorial today and I'm going to be using these Chalcola canvas panels. Chalcola has given me several different versions, several different sizes to try out and the one I'm going to use today is, I believe it's a nine, yeah it's a nine by twelve. They also come in sizes five by seven, eight by ten, 11 by 14. These are awesome little canvases that you can just pop right into a frame once you're finished with your painting. They fit in the 5 by 7 frames, the 8 by 10 frames, whatever you may be able to find that are ready made. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this canvas panel here. I'm also going to be using Chalcola paint. This is acrylic paint in the tube, which I love. And the colors I'm gonna be using are Burnt Umber, Fat Green, Cobalt Blue, and Raw Sienna. I'm also gonna be using my palette knife, a flat, medium-sized brush, and this is just a small filbert brush. You can use a small round brush if that's what you need. That's what you have on hand. You need a paper towel and some water and something to put your paint out on. So I've just got a plastic palette here that I'm using. You can use a paper plate or whatever you have on hand. So let's get started. Okay, I've already put some paint out here for myself. And I'm going to start with my small brush and the burnt umber, which is just a dark brown. If you don't have these exact colors, just use a dark brown, a bright blue, some white and like a um, a yellow ochre is really what this raw sienna is. Okay, so we're going to start right here in the middle. And our pumpkin is, I'm going to show you how to, to kind of give yourself a guide to use when you're making a pumpkin. So you're going to want to do something like an oval shape that's kind of flat. Okay, this is going to be the top of your pumpkin. And then in the middle of that, make yourself another dot. This is going to be your stem. Okay, so you can make your stem however you want it to look, but you can make it just, you know, a little stump like this. You can make it come around and have some curls. Just whatever you think is, um, is pretty. And then I want you to spread it out just a little down here. Okay, so that's what we're going to start with. And then we're going to go from here. We're going to start here in the middle and we're going to make an oval shape like this. And then we're going to come over just a little bit, make another oval shape. A little bit flat on the bottom, but. It's a basic oval. And we're just going to keep going back and forth. And when we get back here, you're going to want it to stop. We don't want to bring it all the way down over here because it's just going to keep growing fatter this way. So we just want to have it come to an edge there and then back here we still have some pumpkin that shows back behind our stem there may not be a whole lot that you can see of it but it's still back there okay so that's our basic pumpkin shape The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and put in our pretty blue background. And I'm going to be using a lot of white paint. So you probably need to put out, if you're going to use the same colors that I'm using and make it look the same way, you're going to want to put out a lot of white and a little bit of your colors. So I'm going to start with my flat, medium-sized brush. I'm going to wet it just a little bit. You get a little bit of this cobalt blue. And a whole lot of white and that's just going to give you a really pretty pale blue 
I'll just put that all in our background here. And to give it that impressionistic look, leave a few spots that are not blended. So you don't want to keep going over it and over it and over it. And you mix in a little bit of brown from your edges of your pumpkin too, and that's going to help just give that background a little more of an impressionistic look. So we're just going to keep Keep going. You may need to add a little bit of water to help to move the paint along. Just don't want to over blend. That's what helps you to get that impressionistic look. Okay, and I've left this down here unpainted because we're going to do something different down there. Okay. I'm going to need some more white paint, so let me get some more white paint. Okay. All right, the next thing we're going to do, clean off this blue on our brush here. And then take this white and just kind of fill in all of these areas that we've drawn off. And I don't want you to be too careful doing this because I want you to cover up some of these lines. A little bit of it needs to be covered. You need to leave it there, enough of it there that you can see it as a guide. And some of it is still going to show through later. For our end result, but some of it needs to be covered up. So just do it quickly, kind of haphazardly. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is pick up our knife now. Painting with a palette knife is my favorite way to paint. And we're going to use a little bit of this raw sienna, which is, is basically like a yellow ochre. And we're going to mix it with some white. So here's the, the raw sienna. And get some white. And it's going to give us like a golden beige color. And while this white paint is still wet here, we're going to take this and we're just going to lay it down in these same spots. So we're going to cover up some more of the brown lines, but this is the part that's going to give us all the texture and all of the fun little messy details. I'm just taking my knife and I'm pulling down, or maybe pulling around, depending on the shape that I am, kind of filling in here. Okay, now 
now I'm going to take some of this dark brown or burnt umber. And I'm going to add some up there on the top of the stem. Let's take some of this raw sienna, come down. And then we'll take some white and put it along the edge there and along the edge there. So you're making sort of like a, a circle up here at the top. You're going to make this edge here lighter. This side is darker, so that gives it the shadow. All right, next, we're going to let this settle just a little bit. And next, we're going to take our knife and we're going to make some grass or some straw around the bottom of our pumpkin. So I'm going to start with a little bit of sap green. And some white and I'm going to mix those together. It's going to give me a really light, pretty green. I'm just loading it on my knife and I'm just going to pull down. Push up and pull down. So we've got one side. Let's do another area over here. You can make it come up and around if you want to. So we're just pushing and pulling. Let's just kind of scoot it along the bottom down here. All right, so we've got our green. Some green added in there. You can also use the side of your knife and cut into the paint and it will give you some more texture. Okay, next let's use some of this raw sienna. We need to get some more of that out. Mix a little bit of that with some white. We'll just do the same thing again in the spots in between to fill in where the green is not. All right, now we're going to take our burnt umber, which is our dark brown, and we're going to really carefully put it in down here at the bottom the very base of the pumpkin because that's going to be the darkest spot and then using our knife we've still got some of this on here we're going to pull it up and around so scraping and pulling in both directions with this dark brown Even scrape in some areas down here. All right, I'm going to wipe off my knife, my paper towel. I'm going to let this settle just a little bit and go back to our pumpkin. Now we're going to take our knife and just some clean white. Get a good bit on your knife. I'm going to go back in here and just pull down very lightly over each area again. Get a good bit of paint on your knife. And that gives it this amazing texture. So you can still see those dark lines that are there. They're not quite as, as noticeable, but they are there. 
So to make sure that this up here stays um, pretty dark and there's some contrast, you may want to take the side of your knife and load it with a little bit of this burnt umber. And we can just kind of cut in some of these dark spots. Go back to where, where you can see your dark line is supposed to be. And then kind of scrape it in there and give it give it that dimension that it needs, especially up here around the stem. Okay, now we're almost done. We're going to go down here to the bottom and do a little bit more work with our knife, which is the fun, the fun part. Let's get a little more, almost out of my raw sienna. A little bit more of that and a little more white. And we're just going to lighten up just down here just a little bit in the front. may want to take some white and just kind of fill in any spots down here that may be missing some paint. Don't cover up too much. And then you can come back and scrape in just really make it haphazard and messy down here. Moved it around too much. Still a little, a little bit of white right there. You guys, that is a simple way to make a very loose and impressionistic pumpkin painting. So I hope you enjoyed this. I want to thank Chocola for these awesome panels paints. I hope that you're interested in giving them a try and giving the pumpkin a try. And I will link all of the things that you need to create this pumpkin down in the description box below. Thanks. See you again next time. Bye.